think it was definitely like a thing that I couldn't have done without. Mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know if I call it advantage or more of a necessity. Now you hear the judges always talking about having a moment. And you had a few real memorable ones. Um, I remember Somewhere Over the Rainbow and Hallelujah. On Idol, yeah. for you, what was the moment? I would definitely say one of those two. You know, I think Hallelujah was the first moment for me because it was a special moment. You know, I think I think that's how music should be. It should be full of these moments. And and for me, I think that moment happened because that was the first time that I sang a song that I knew beforehand. You know, Hallelujah is a song. But I've been singing since I could sing. Uh, you know, it was the first time I tried to learn a guitar. I couldn't even play it. Mm -hmm. You know, I tried to play it for like a year before I could finally do it. And that was like after Idol happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, I think there's something different between singing a song that you just learned and mm -hmm. singing a song that you know and it's just a part of you, you know. And I, I think that's really how music should be, that you don't, you don't think about it and you think you're just releasing the song that's coming out from inside. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the only way that happens is, is by really knowing a song. So, and her, so, you know, I feel... Mm -hmm. very uh, honored to be the person to introduce that song to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, you know, I think that's how my first one came out. And then Summer of the Rainbow, it's, it's, you know, it's just all about the song. And, mm -hmm. You know, I was lucky enough to get it right. Yeah, uh, I mean... Mika Eva Ole, I think is how you see name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's just a, it captures a different side of the song, you know, a different mood of the song. Like, a, a carefree, everything's okay, mm -hmm. you know, you know, hoping and wanting for the future. You know, the more hopeful version. And, uh, now, while many of the Idol alums have sort of dropped off of the map, what do you think has helped you to kind of remain in the music scene and stay relevant? You know, I think it's about music. You know, I took my time off of Idol, and I was really kind of underground for a year, just writing and recording. And um, you know, I I signed with Atlantic, and you know, we just I really. You know, I feel like we're doing this the right way. I took my time, got the songs right. We got a great album put together, something I, I'm proud of, you know. What kind of Jason can we expect to hear on this record? I think it's definitely a continuation of what got started on Idol, you know. It's, it's a very, uh, I think called like a modern singer-songwriter album. You know, it's kind of like a folk pop, mm -hmm. acoustic rock kind of thing. It's all acoustic-based. There's more intimate moments, you know, things like Hallelujah I actually recorded for this album. Mm -hmm. And other songs like that, like It Matters to Me and... Um, you know, songs that really capture that intimate thing, which I think is what a lot of people liked on the show. But at the same time, there's some new, there's some progression. You know, I started playing with the band this last year, which I, I'd never really done before. And mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, I think that's shaped some things too. I've, you know, got some more rock and tracks on the album. Mm -hmm. But you can uh, really catch your toe too. Now, normally I would ask the question, what you like to do in your spare time, other than music. But I saw the webisodes that you've created and I really yeah. like those. I think they're cool because it really shows that you're real and that you connect with your fans. Um, what kind of, ins yeah. what inspired that concept? Well, you know, originally we started with webisodes that were just, uh, you know, a part of the recording process, inviting people in. And, and, you know, I do that because I want people to be part of it because I know all the time that I am quiet or busy working, you know, busy touring and, and just, you know, recording. You know, like when I record, I really don't do a whole lot outside of recording mm -hmm. and writing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's cool to catch pieces of that and show it. And, and then moving forward, you know, it kind of evolved into this, like, well, why do we kind of create things? Why don't we do something fun? And, and mm -hmm. uh, fun for everyone. And it's fun people would like to watch and that I would like to do. And, you know, just kind of make an experience out of it. And, and so that's that's what we really did with this, you know, that's on here for episode. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's really just to have some fun and let people in on the world and see me in a, in a real life environment, you know, how, how mm -hmm. we act. April 13th is the new album, self-titled, yep. and you also have a tour lined up in support of your album, and when does that kick off? The tour kicks off uh, April 17th, we're having a big CD release party here in Dallas, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then from there we move on, we start touring, going out to the continental USA, and we got tour dates on the website, jasoncastromusic.com, they're available at Ticketmaster, and it's going to be uh, it's my first time out with the full band, you know, headlining. And we're playing pretty intimate venues, you know, about mm -hmm. 500 people a night. So it's definitely going to be a really cool time, you know, before, mm -hmm. uh, you know, before we take off and get on bigger tours. You know, it's going to be a cool chance for fans to really come and, and experience it, you know, and interact mm -hmm. in a way that, you know, you don't get to, like, say, on the Idol tour, you know, in such big tours. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, going to be a lot of fun.
Awesome. Well, Jason, I'm really, it was great to talk to you today, and I wish you the best of luck on your new album release and the tour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope to talk again.